Let's uh, invite Himanshu Gupta of Globe Capital now to quickly uh, address the market technicals. Himanshu, another quiet day, but the mid-caps are showing signs of fatigue. They're selling off for the second consecutive day. Um, is this time to take money off the table? Is there a shot that you would recommend or is this no trade? Uh, good morning. Well, if you see the broader markets, uh, firstly addressing that part of the market, they have not been participating really for a while now. And it's not just the second day of trade. I think uh, if you if you go back a few days back also, there is a substantial uh, differentiation that, that index is being taken out by, by a couple of handful of stocks. Rather, we have been seeing a clear signs of distribution in the broader markets. That's one thing about it. But if you come talk about the index uh, or the setup there, I think the way the FIs have been buying into the index futures and the setup, that is still suggesting that this is broadly a consolidation. And even if we talk about the today's expiry, the volumes have been so slow and despite a weaker queues, every attempt to sell is being bought into and at lower levels there is a continuous buying that's been coming in. So uh, so I would uh, like to approach today's expiry as, as a sideways uh, uh, event as of now, where 18,300 on the Nifty is likely to offer a decent kind of support and I think again uh, one can buy around those levels and a, and a rebound towards 18,450, 18,500 cannot be ruled out in Nifty. Similarly, on Nifty Bank, I think 42,300 again offers a very strong support zone where one can expect the buying coming in. And 42,500, 42,550 kind of levels can be seen here. So as of now, it's basically a writer's option. Writers, they, uh, for the initial two hours, are concerned. The volumes are also low. But I think on the dip, uh, uh, it makes sense again to enter longs in both the indices. What about individual stocks? What are you looking at, uh, both on the buy as well as on the sell side? Yeah, sure. So I'm going with the buy and sell recommendation, uh, given the kind of sideways and the consolidation move it has been so far. So LNT, that's one stock that has actually given a very strong breakout in today's session. The derivative data is, data is also positive. And the charts are suggesting that after a breakout, after a short consolidation, that stock is uh, looking at uh, heading towards level of 2100. So LNT is a buy with stop loss below 2025, targeting 2100. On the short side, I think SRF is one stock that actually has failed to show some strengths even after the numbers. So that stock is weak and one can initiate shorts in SRF for a target of 2300 followed by 2275 and a stop loss above 2360, 2360 can be placed in SRF. Thank you very much for that. Get into a break. Up next, we'll discuss market fundamentals. Jyoti